I'm here to be an all-time great. You now rocking with the best. The Lakers repeat back-to-back title. Welcome to the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Oh, he's smoking hot. The latest Laker news. Another great Showtime feed. The greatest Laker show. This is going to be legendary for a long time. This is is the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast. Lakers all day. Go Lakers! What's up, everybody? It's Big Baby here. Um, Lakers get the win 121-107. to 107. They are 42-39 and 39 on the season, man, but this game, I'm just, I'm, it's one of those wins where uh, I'll get you on like you're on the second. Uh, this win, I didn't like it at all. Um, we came out lackadaisical. The team underestimated Phoenix. With, they were without Kevin Durant, Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and we stink up. The, we almost lost tonight, but we find a way. But it's one of those games we shouldn't have even competed against this Phoenix Suns team. We should have blown this team out. And uh, let me go to the box score. Let me see here. Anthony Davis, 14 points, 21 rebounds, 4 for 12 from the field, 34 minutes. LeBron, 16 points. He got a trip, almost six, yeah, 16 points, 6 assists, 6 rebounds, 24 points for D'Lo, 22 for Austin Reeves, and 21 for Mikael Beasley. Um, just in general, just in general, it was – one of those games where Lakers should have lost tonight, to be honest with you. But but we we found a way, and the Kings uh, rested the starters tonight versus Golden State. So it's looking like we're going to be the seventh or eighth seed um, for the plan where that Clipper loss kind of kind of hurt us, Laker Nation. That that Clipper loss hurt us, but Lakers put themselves in this position, and it's on them. What's going on, Laker girl? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you watch the game? I did. Honestly, I didn't like the first half sloppy, the turnovers. But if I may give credit to anybody on the Lakers, I got to give it up to D'Lo and Austin Reeves and Malik Beasley. But a win yeah. is a win. Hopefully, we can win Sunday, and hopefully, Warriors will lose on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, but the Warriors, who are the Warriors play? Let me see. Don't they got uh, Damian Lillard Blazers, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what happens there. And that's crazy. Uh, um, Dallas got eliminated from the playoffs. Yeah, Dallas got eliminated. So <laughs> Dallas got eliminated, and that's crazy. So it's coming down to the last, final game. Um, I'll bring my boy, Goat James. What's up, Goat James? Yo. Uh, what's good? Yo, man, Kyrie got to pack up his bags and get out of Dallas, bro. Yeah, he, he's, yeah. he's eliminated from the playoffs. He got he got to make his way to the Lakers, bro. Because I don't see him staying in Dallas when they once because um they missed the playoffs. I don't see any scenario he stays in Dallas after they miss the playoffs. I really don't. I think the Lakers are gonna uh, keep the squad that they have because I don't think they if Lakers get Kyrie, they're gonna have to get rid of. Uh, hey, Laker girl. Laker girl. Laker girl. What's going on, Sean? <laughs> uh, what's going on, Lakers and Seven? What's popping? Man, hey, I'm like you, big baby. Hey, this ain't going to get it right here, man. This game man. right here, it was unexcusable, man. We played against their, we played against their bench, man, their backups, yeah. man. We struggled, yeah. we struggled with them, man. So, yeah, man, LeBron that, came in like a day ago tonight so far. He only had like, what, six points at half? He's, he, I yeah. think he picks and chooses when to get off because if the Lakers – if LeBron AD, AD could have just dominated, but we had to struggle. Like, I'm not happy that we won. I'm pissed. We could do way better. Like, I know it's a win's a win. I get it's the NBA, but nah, you should you should have came up to play better, you know? And uh, Lego James, I'm uh, piggyback on what you said about Kyrie. For us to get Kyrie every man, we're going to have to get rid of Austin Reeves, D'Lo. We're going to have to, like, sabotage the whole roster, but we'll see what happens there. Good luck to you, Kyrie, on your next adventures. Probably going to re-sign in Dallas. But we'll see what happens there. 
Um, it was a tough lot, tough win for the Lakers tonight. My boy Manny tweeted, "Oh, it's an easy win." I tweeted back, "It's gonna be a competitive battle tonight." You know, I know it's but for a reason. Like Byron Scott said on my show yesterday, anytime you face the Lakers, you want to gear up. You know, they they used to do back in the '90s with in the '80s with my uh, Byron Scott too. So he, you know, I'm not even surprised. But I'm like. If we play like this in the playoffs or playing, we, we will lose in the playing. We will get bounced out in the first round or playing. And if that happens, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be mad. You know, it is what it is. If Lakers don't come to play in the play-in or playoffs, we're going home early. Just so keeping it all the way real, Laker Nation. If we do not, if we do not, if we do not come in with the sense of urgency and try to win an NBA, cha- try to like. Sorry, I'm still sick. Sorry, Laker Nation. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. But it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, we, we can't be coming in, think we're going to blow out every team. You know, and if we do, we will get blown out. But uh, look, look, go, James, you still there? Oh, yeah, I'm still there. So, but um, I have a pretty decent idea on how uh, Kyrie Drake works. I could see something like this uh, D Lo, Malik Beasley, Mo Baba. And either um, uh, Max Christie or the Reed kid, and a few first round picks for Kyrie. But you can't. You it's it's not going to be just Kyrie that's coming back. It's going to have to be Javale or Marquise Morris coming back too. Yeah, but we'll see. With what championship happens. experience, because yeah, I, you got to have championship experience. Yeah, well, most definitely, man. We'll see what happens there. Kyrie's in Cancun right now. Um, I agree. We'll see what happens. But I'm looking at the standings right now. So we may get a Phoenix versus Golden State first round. We may get the Clippers versus Kings first round. And we may get uh, – we're eighth right now. So uh, I guess the seventh and eighth play in the play in tournament. Um, if we play like this against the Pelicans, we will lose. Because Brad Ingram has been averaging 20-plus points in the last nine games. You know, it's up – and, yeah, Minnesota, too, is – don't the nine and ten play each other, right? Yeah. yeah. No, it, it, maybe we're seventh. No, it says eight right here. They just they just updated it. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're eight. We're eight right now. Yeah, I'm telling you. And as far as that clip loss, I was sick. And I'm feeling a little bit better. That clipper loss. It, it's. Uh, I already knew that we were. I don't know. Something told me that we're we're gonna we're gonna win just by the first five minutes of the Laker game. The actually the first ten minutes. You know. It's it's like they did it to themselves, you know. You get an opportunity, you know. Um, you know, punch in the mouth. Yeah. So right now it's showing the playoff bracket. Um, we would play the Pelicans in the first round. So the winner goes to the seventh seed automatically. So if Lakers play the Pelicans and it, it, we gotta face the Pelicans in the first round in the plan, and it, we cannot play up. You cannot play like this against the Pelicans because we will lose. Sean said LeBrick had 13 bricks and five turnovers, but they're going to say he had 16 points, six assists, and six rebounds. They're going to praise him for that, but they're not going to see those not getting back on defense, giving up the open man for three, playing lazy on defense, and turn the, turn the ball over. You know what I mean? I agree with what Henry Lakers fans said on his channel. You know, there's a lot of LeBron fans that get upset that when we talk about LeBron, they get butthurt. We're not, you know, we're, we're just keeping it real. You know, shout out to Angry Lakers fan. Go subscribe to his channel, Lakers World Order. But what I'm saying is, it's just like if LeBron has a bad game, and we call him out. We have every right to. You know, I don't care if he had 16 points, six rebounds, six assists. Right. He had five turnovers. Not get back on defense. You know, and as a Laker fan, that that doesn't you know you gotta do better. You know, and if LeBron LeBron the last two games have been playing not so good. You know, but I give credit to D'Lo, 24 points, six, uh, six threes, three assists. Austin Reeves had a good game, 22 points, five assists. Malik Beasley came off the bench, 21 points, two rebounds, four three pointers. You know what I mean? And we played. We should have. We should have blown the Suns team up big time. But you know, it sucks. You know, we have to go through this. But like, just put this, put this on themselves. Not come up to play against the Clippers because if we would have beat the Clippers, we would have been in the sixth seed right now. But no, I feel like, and I agree with what Angry Lakers fan said on his channel too. You probably listen to this Angry when you watch the replay about the ten minute mark. Once you see this, 
Um, I agree with you 100%, bro, that we are probably afraid of the Phoenix Suns, and I agree. You know what I mean? Well, we, wait a minute, big baby. If we would have beat the Clippers, would we have been a six seed or would we have been the seven seed? Probably the six. If we would have been the – Because, because, been the because uh, the reason I'm saying seven, because uh, New Orleans has a tiebreaker over us because they beat us up head to head. Yeah. Yeah. No, if we if we would have beat the Clippers, we would we would have been in fifth. Oh, fifth, yeah, there we go, fifth. We, fifth. we got the tiebreaker yeah, yeah, yeah. tie over Pelicans and the Warriors. Yeah. yeah, but angry, and I agree with what Angry said one hundred percent that uh, we would we're be afraid of the Phoenix Suns, and I agree because we would get. Yeah, demolished. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. We would. Well, get everybody, everybody, everybody is dodging the Phoenix Suns right now, and the, and the Warriors might have to face them in the first round because I think. Or there's a shit. I just updated the standings. I gotta look at it. It was on my lap, my phone real quick. Yeah, so it might be uh, Kings and Clippers in the first round, and I want the Kings to whoop on the Clippers. You know, but yeah, we gotta do better. Like, I'm not happy about this win. I'm not. I'm very pissed off. You know. See, they they, they don't look at the test. Like, I know LeBron had 16 points, but you know what I mean. He he didn't do well defensively. Look, coming out lackadaisical, you know it's very upsetting. You know, and I know a lot of LeBron fans. Oh, he had, no, he didn't have a good game. But we gotta give credit where credit is due. The Lakers just start out two and ten, and the season ends Sunday versus the Jazz. And you know we're two and ten. Start the season two and ten. We're one game away from a playing tournament. We're probably. I think Portland's gonna get waxed by Golden State. We're gonna be playing in the plan. My my mind's mentally locked in. On the plan, so because there's no point of rooting for other teams to help us, you know we're not we're not playing on the other side, you know, you know what I mean. Um, Dwight. Yeah. What would you th- did you watch the game tonight? Yeah, I watched it. Ad, I know he had 20, 20 rebounds, but man, he looks like he's immensely exhausted. Man, he looks very he, slow. He is, exa- he is exhausted right now, man. And actually, I think he's kind of. I think he's kind of favoring that leg, man, because he's kind of dragging it a little bit, man. Yeah, he, yeah. he was dragging it. Well, do you guys think we should sit out the last? Do you think if if we know like when when did let me see when did the let me go to the schedule? Let me see here. The, four, the 14th. They said that. Yeah. Uh, uh, the 14th. They, that will be the yeah, play in. No, I'm talking about for this weekend. No, we play. Do anybody play Saturday? Uh, uh, we play, we play, we play Utah. We play Utah in the last game. So yeah, on Sunday. But I want to see when the uh, Warriors play. So if the yeah, if the Warriors play the Blazers at twelve thirty, we play the we play at twelve thirty two. So we both, we do. Dang, yeah. everybody's it's an early game for everybody. Yeah. Okay, so if the Lakers beat well, the t- Jazz tomorrow, so if tomorrow the Lakers, Denver play Denver plays Utah tomorrow, and then Portland plays the. Portland plays the Clippers at 3 p.m. tomorrow. So, you, know, you know the Jazz are saving energy for us. <laughs> yeah, but you know something. But you know something. If if we, so, say for instance, if Roy, if Warriors lose on Sunday, right? Yeah. And if we win on Sunday, we we still have advantage of the Warriors. Okay, it's, for sure. And then same way. And then they was just um, spectrum just said if it is if it if we do if it is a playing game, it'll be at crypto. Okay. You know, a lot of Lakers hey, think, be happy. We made the playoffs. I think the Clippers gonna lose. I think Clippers gonna lose on purpose tomorrow because they don't want to be in that fifth seed. No, uh, Ka- Kawhi's not gonna do anything. It's gonna be the usual. Uh, Lakers all day. What's going on, bro? You there? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Not much, man. Did yeah, you watch man. The- what's up? What's up? What's up? Did you watch the game? Yeah, I did. What yeah, you man, think of the? Yeah, what do you think overall about the whole team in general, man? You, you called it, man. You, man, it's 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 one of those games where we should have lost tonight. To be honest with you, you know, I I don't feel happy about this win. I don't. Yeah, I know, and I, I told you, I I told you, I told you, bro. Like you know, what I'm saying like it, it's it's something going on. You know what I'm saying? Like something's going on with the team and nobody's saying nothing about this. Like it's going on. Like how are we you know what I'm saying? We have a bad game against Utah and then we come out here 
against the, uh, the Clips and we lose like bad. And now yeah. we struggle yeah, with we the Suns. They don't even have no. They don't even have KD or Booker or. You feel me? I know why. There's something we're in, going we're on. In, I feel we're, like no, we're an inconsistent. Yeah, we're an inconsistent basketball team this year. Inconsistent basketball team this whole year. Inconsistent no, team, man. I'm not going. I don't know what it is, bro. Something, but I I feel like it, it, it's something. It's yeah. something going on, or it's somebody that don't want to. Somebody on the team doesn't want to play, but they're just playing just because they want to play. You know what I'm saying? They're playing because yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they they have they don't have to, but it's like they're making themselves play. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Or maybe they, maybe or maybe they're just hired the coach. Yeah, you know or, 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 like, they, or they just want to get this playing tournament, lose, and go home early. Because they, yeah. big baby, to be honest with you, yeah, that's I, I what watch. it looks like. It looks. This is not a championship contending team. It's not. No, but because big baby, to be honest with you, I watched the whole game because I was on DJ's channel with them, and yeah. from the start, they didn't they they didn't come out with no effort at all. AD. No, they didn't. LeBron kept on shooting those threes, and the ref- referees wasn't even calling the fouls and everything. Yeah, I know LeBron. That's the other thing too about LeBron. Like anytime he gets fouled, he'll stop and yell. No, you get back on defense, play defense, and when there's a timeout, go to the ref. Hey, where, where's the foul? You know what I mean? It's like yeah. And shot to Sean, I agree. But you but know. big baby, but listen, but y'all yeah, yeah. But listen, but look, but look, look, look. This man been doing this his whole career, bro. This is what his career is is uh that's this is why I don't like him. Yeah. Because he always when he goes to the bat, he won the foul. Like he goes straight to the ref. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Draymond does the same thing. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? And this is what every time he doesn't get his way. He gets mad just like he had that that big old meltdown. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's that's what type of person he is, bro. Like yeah. that that big meltdown you saw against Boston. That's what that's what he did. That's what he is. Like he doesn't. It feels like people can't say no to him unless he's a. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we have a player. He's that type of person where he's like the only kid. So like he always wants his way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. can you guys hear and, me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, uh, Lakers all day. And saying? and I feel I, I feel like LeBron's the only kid. Like saying he he's the only kid. So I feel like you know like some kids right when they don't get their way they cry they they pout they yeah. go on the floor they whine and all that stuff. LeBron did that same crap. Yep. Yeah. Right. But yeah. he did that junk. He does that all. He, he did that all his career. Yeah, that's I why I don't like him. Because how are you gonna every time get a foul call? I understand sometimes they foul you, sometimes they don't. But you don't have to go to the ref yeah. every time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's somebody on this team that don't want to play no more, yeah. or there's somebody, or this whole team doesn't like the coach no more. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't put effort into playing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. your coach is nonchalant. He's so chill. He don't say nothing. He just puts his hand in his pocket. He's getting free <laughs> money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they not going to want to play for a coach like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like they're getting tired of that. Yeah. I feel like they're getting tired of him. Or yeah. maybe it's somebody that just be like, you know what? I'm done playing basketball. I'm just doing it just to make some money or whatever, just to make more money, and I'm I'm and, and I'm gonna leave. And then, big baby, you know? I may add, you know what else I noticed about LeBron? What frustration? Because the way after the game was over, the how he how he jetted down the hall, the hallway, yeah. frustration I could tell because at the time oh he did the thing because at the little time hey, out, he he was talking to AD and I don't know what was said but oh yeah he turned the ball over and said that he was talking about what. I remember there was a play where he, the ball hit the side of the backboard after he threw that pass, and the AD and LeBron were talking, and LeBron said, my bad. And then I just think maybe AD's getting tired of playing with LeBron. And if it is, no, let the front I, office I don't know. Think it, I don't think it's that, bro. I think LeBron is getting tired of – I think LeBron is getting tired of playing with with these players, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not getting his way. And we're losing like this. And I know he wants to. You know how LeBron said that big thing 
talk about, oh, you know what I'm saying? If the Lakers don't make the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? He said all this about our Lakers, right? Talk about, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's still going to want to. He's still gonna want to leave for his son. I feel like he might be. He might leave, just like he did Cleveland, just like he did Miami. He gonna get up and go. This is yeah. what he does. You know what I'm saying? And now he, I think he sees that we have a good team, but this is not the. This is these are not the players that he wants on this team. Or this this is not the player that he wants on his team. He like D'Lo, but he not gonna want. He don't want D'Lo. Yeah. You feel know I me? Mean? That's, that's what it he looks like Ky- to me. He wants, he wants Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Because if you if you look at look at him, look at him. Yeah. He, he, he's moping. He's not playing. He freaking played bad against the Clippers. He my my, my, against, my you, I'd be yelling and screaming right now if I was a coach. Was yeah, on, bro. Man. Like, come on, bro. Like, everybody oh, thinks everybody thinks that that you know what I'm saying. Like, like it's. I mean. I understand Kyrie LeBron wanted Kyrie. And yeah. maybe this this is the reason why, you know, this is why he's doing this. And he knows that Kyrie is out the playoffs now. And he realizes that, bro, Kyrie's out the playoffs and he out here ball. Yeah. He could be helping us out. That, that's probably what it is. Or maybe something else. I don't know. What's going on, Sean? Man, what's going on, big baby? What's going on, uh, Lake, Lake Nation? What, what's what's up? Man, man, enough of this coach excuses. LeBron James is the most uncoachable player of all time, man. It is. You know what I mean? Like, I give him, you know what I mean? As much as I be on his ass, I give him credit. He actually did it while uh, no coach, when he rings, even though he did with super teams. But the issue is, look at how the game is. Your teammates is suffering from the heart, losing their soul, and you, an energy vampire, just sucking up the energy up from your teammates. The young, you sucking them up, and then but hold you up. spin hey, out hey, right in front of them. Hold up, huh? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, hey Sean, but guess what? Hey Sean, guess what? Do y'all remember? Do y'all? I, I'm not trying to like put no bash on LeBron or nothing like that, but I'm just I'm, I, I remember this. Okay, so you remember when we had Lonzo, and you remember yeah. we had Lonzo who was Kuzma, right? And you know how when Lonzo and Kuzma was a rookie, and you know how we yeah, were losing. And you know how, like, LeBron, you know how I was saying, like, saying when, like, the whole team was still running down the court and LeBron was walking down the court, moping, like, 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 low-key, like, he didn't want to play no more. Yeah. Did y'all notice that from him? And who, who did, do we have, uh, oh, you forgot, we had Luke Walton, right? He was moping. He wasn't getting down the court. He low-key got a freaking, uh, uh, of technical foul because he didn't go down the court. Yeah, this is how he is, bro. This is him. You know what I'm saying? He, when he when he doesn't get his way, when his team loses, he wants to mope and cry and just you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but that's the, why okay. he's not my goat because I see the things in him that he doesn't that he does. What's up? That's something that we both agree on. He's not the goat. You know what I mean? But his fans, no, no, man. I understand that, but. I'm, yeah, but, but, like, seriously, but seriously, how many times are you going to fire a coach? Yeah. If you pick an all-time coach, you're not going to score over 20, 30 points a game. Everyone knows that. We're not stupid, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. You know, all that all that time when you always be stupid, <clears throat> just like the way you're stabbing right now, you an all-time great coach will not allow you to do that. Yeah. Phil Jackson will never let you do it. But, yeah, you yeah, but- want me. You want to make him as a scapegoat now. Now, Darman has a scapegoat. Nah, bro. You, yourself, is the scapegoat. That, yeah. That's what it looks like. You're the reason why they cost us again. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Man, yeah, just tonight, man, he yeah. looked like he didn't want to play. You're right, bro. He looked like he didn't want to play, and then he turned it up. But I didn't like this win. But uh, Lakers are this season become the first team since the Nets and Bulls, you know, to start 2-10 and 10 and have a winning record. Okay, and <laughs> – and you know what's the funny part? Darwin Ham is not going to get no credit for that. You know who's going to get credit? His boss, LeBron Ramon James. Yeah. And Rob Palenka actually made the, those trades. So he, he's, hey. that, those trades saved our season. A big, a big baby. Let me ask you a question, right? What if we lose in the, in the play-in? I'm not mean, yeah, okay. 
let's say we lose in the play-in or we go to the playoffs and we lose the first round. Well, what's, what's going on? I, I understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the same page as you with that. But what's going to happen? Is it is it either, you know what I'm saying, is it either the blame going to be on the coach or, you know what I'm saying, is it like LeBron not going to want to play here no more? Well, Lebr- LeBron's or, gonna go to home. LeBron's gonna be in Portland tomorrow to see his son Brownie play. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it that we're gonna fire the coach? It's gonna be. Gonna have to do, it's gonna it's have gonna to do be, something. It's gonna be on the superstars. AD and LeBron didn't project this do well, you know, down the stretch, and they didn't play up to par. You know, if we lose in the first round, it's gonna be on the on our superstars. One my period. Yeah, but you know, how, but you know how everything always gets to the coach talking about oh. You know what I'm saying? You know how, you know how it's gonna be talking about. Oh, the coach need to be fired because it is. I might say that because I'm yeah, mad. But, but it revolt. It relies on the superstar LeBron and Anthony Davis. You know? Yeah, but bro, like we got Anthony Davis for for Lonzo, Bi, yeah. and Kuz. We got a championship and, out of it. So. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I feel like LeBron getting tired of playing with. With uh, with these players that we got, yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like LeBron wanna... James is not tired. He's just avoiding accountability. Yeah, you in year <laughs> shout twenty, to, yeah, shout you to Freddie. Be... <laughs> Thank you, Fred. Thank you, Freddie. But big, big baby, can I ask Thank you a you, question? See, that, that's that's, that's the stuff that I talk about. My, my question, that's the stuff I talk my, about. My, 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 my question is that. So, say, for instance, we do get on the playoffs, do you think that we will sign someone to that last roster spot? Probably not. <laughs> he's saying what yeah. saying what uh, Lakers all day has been saying all year. <laughs> all year. Like, bro, yeah. I've been telling y'all this the whole time, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's good. I'm telling y'all, bro, the one, when he's going to mess us up, I'm telling you, this coach going to mess us up, and when he does, that's it. Everybody going to realize Man. it. Man, you know what? If Lakers could get email oh, yeah. Doka and the Lakers still lose, I know these I, – man, I'm telling you, I know these same people's going to make another excuse of this. Yeah. It's not the coach. It's this guy. That'll the guy good. you guys keep on defending. <laughs> like, 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 when the Lakers – like, you just saw the game just now. The Lakers was way ahead, um, like, about seven points. Mm-hmm. Until LeBron James came, and momentarily they came up, but eventually, thank goodness for the youth to save him up. But still, mm-hmm. man, it's just like really, Darmaham has to get fired. No, if we fire, like, I don't think we're gonna fire him because we've been, you know, I mean, what if we get another coach like Yimi Duka and starts off two and ten, or you know, they're like, oh fuck, so we, this guy just ride it out, and so some of the blame is on LeBron because sometimes he's. Like you said, uncomfortable. Mike Brown. Yeah. Mike Brown. Uh, Mike be... Brown right now is a is a big time example of how a coach has to work hard in order for them to get out from the blacklist, man. LeBron James blacklisted. Yeah. Yeah, and man. Now, like... and, and look at where the Kings are at. The Kings are above oh, the top hey, of the top. Uh, Sean, look at this comment. There you go. Go d- dive into it. So this is the question. See, that, that's the stuff. That, uh, man, man, I'm sorry, man. I, I, hey, Freddie, baby, I don't disrespect on my language, man. But these fucking broad sections, man. He is actually a trouble. Hey, hey, Freddie, what, what do you mean he ain't the problem? Can you elaborate more on that, man? I think it's he is oh, the problem. Yeah. You guys just saw. Didn't you even watch the game, Freddie? He, I know what about LeBron. Sixteen point six, six rebounds, six assists, and five what five turnovers. That that's. For a superstar, so so. All right, all right, my boyfriend is gonna come in. It's gonna be, hey, I'm bringing him on. It's gonna be, all right, let's get, oh boy, get your popcorn. Thank you, Fred. Right. I love it. Let's do it. I want to hear this. Right. Oh my do God. it, man. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it, big baby, hey, yo, baby. Nobody baby. Say nothing, hey. Everybody be on me. Hey, I wonder. Yeah, be I wonder if Freddie got it. But say about him. I want Freddie to go come ahead. on the panel and express what he's talking about. What's going on, Micah? What's going on, player, player? And she hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And it's Laker girl, Byron Scott, answer your question. By the way, but uh, yeah, it's going. But yeah, man, it's gonna be a topic that Freddie 
you know, keeps it real too. So it's gonna be so ready. Funny. But yeah, keep man, it real. I, He's not even keeping it real to himself, man. LeBron has has shoe up fifteen wow. breaks, man. He made a brick house. Let's hear what the man got to say. Come on in, Freddie. Yeah, Freddie, come through, bro. But yeah, man, it's. Oh no, are, are you getting? Are you guys getting to the point where if LeBron leaves, I sent you the link. Uh, hang on. You know, I'll send it right here. For you, Freddie. Bam. There you go. Actually, I'll put it up on the screen. Was it with the mic up? There you go. Yo, Michael, man. He just said that. I, I, told, I mean, Michael, I mean, I know you hear me, bro. I'm just saying that I feel like me, I feel like there you go, there's Freddy. something going on, with, right some going on with LeBron or yeah. something going on with the team or something going on with the coach, bro. bro something going on with this team, bro. Man, this is Freddy, not the wrong I said, I said, I'm going to go on YouTube. Look. Come on, go come. on YouTube. I sent the link. Look on Facebook. There you go. Hey, come on. Oh, he probably it. need the link from Facebook, huh? Yeah. It's there you go, Freddy. I sent you the link. Talking about this guy was injured. Well, so called injured for the past two freaking months. And the Lakers came out of the position while he was stat padding for that scoring record. But you wanted to say that you tell the truth. We saw it on camera. I'll send it to you right now, Freddie. I don't know if he's in the link. I'll send it to him. Why is this? It's a delusion. There you go, Freddie. Stripes wearing hair. Yeah, I sent you it, Freddie. On, uh, let me see. Yeah, he, he got the link. He's coming in right now. <laughs> and let a. So I let him speak, and then once he's done, then you're going to go through. It's going to be. <laughs> All right, here he is. All right. What's going on, Freddie? What's going on? First off, let me let me come in here and tell this gentleman something. First off, you call me a Bronx sexual. Um, I was a Laker fan before LeBron got there. I'm a Kobe Bryant type of dude. Thank Let's you. get that out of the way. Talk Thank to him, Freddie. Talk to Number, number, two, two. number two, what I meant by that, sir, is that we got Anthony Davis in L.A. for one reason, to take charge, to take to lead us. And ever since he's been here, he has not led us. He, he's given us two to three weeks, of, you know, a year of leading us. If not, he'd be street clothes. So when I'm – I don't – hey, bro, LeBron is in year 20. He's 38 years old. I mean, he's going to have games where – if he don't have the best game, um, then he's going to have games where he's dominant. I mean, we've seen that when Kobe was in his year 20. LeBron is not is not supposed to be the guy that's supposed to be the number one option anymore. That's supposed to be Anthony Davis. Uh, the only way this team will win is if Anthony Davis is playing dominant. 14 points isn't going to cut it. Especially with DeAndre, DeAndre Aiden not playing, he needs to have about 35 and 20. That's what he needs to do. That's what he needs to do. He, he's, he, and he's proven that, you know, he might not be the Lakers' um, number one option. Sean, what you got to say? Go ahead. Oh, this is, hey, hey, I'm sorry for yeah, I that you calling you a bronsexual, but you was acting like a bronsexual among your comments, man. You saw the game, and you saw how many bricks this guy did. Listen, bro. LeBron is still playing the same system that he played since Cleveland his first thing. We saw it. He tried to be facilitated. He tried to be the point guard. He should be playing off the ball. But he still wanted to dominate. If he actually wanted AD to become the first option, he would allow it a long time ago. And you know he watched all those games. Did he allow AD to become the first option? Bro, LeBron's like this. And we've seen this when Cody was here in L.A. LeBron gave AD multiple times, multiple chances to take over. And AD, multiple. yes, multiple times. AD have yet to, take, to have taken the throne. AD have yet, yet to come in and say, okay, um, I've never heard AD say, okay, get get the hell out the way, give me the damn ball. I mean, we've seen Shaq do that. We, I mean, we've seen Paul Gasol do that. I mean, 
bro, it comes a point in time where AD just going to have to take it. Um, and two, these bricks, you know, do you realize the injury that LeBron's came back from a torn tendon? Do you, bro, that is so close to the Achilles tear. That is so close. Like, it's just so amazing to see the dude come back. No one never play. forced him to, no one never forced him to, to, to do 30, 40 minutes a game. He did it by himself for that freaking record. Everyone saw it. You did well, too. Well, and no one, and it's been for over what, a year and a half that he actually been doing that. So please, we don't want, well, I don't want to hear that. Oh, he hey, got hurt God, by a tear injury. And my guy, my guy. Sorry. I don't feel sorry for him. He doesn't my feel guy. sorry for us. My guy, you sound my he guy. Bleeding. My guy, you sound like right in front of him and all he cares is like, hey, you sound I, as long as I got my numbers, that's all I, I need to care about. Screw first this. First off, first off, you sound like you're taking this very personal. You sound like you really your feelings, first of all. So let's get that check before we Oh, I take it personal. I'll take no. I take it personal. <laughs> No, let's get that in check before we analyze the sports of basketball. And two, if LeBron didn't play 30, 40 minutes a game this year, hell, we wouldn't be in a position to be in a playing tournament. So let's get that out the way. Um, and that's not true. That, that is true. Um, no, it's not true. No, that's very true because you must have forgot what the team before the trade was. I mean, we wasn't winning many basketball games with Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. Um, no, it was, it's not true because before he got injured, the Lakers was actually – out of the playoffs, when he was while he was injury, the team actually came out of the came out from being at the 12th seed to be around like a seven or but six you do seed. realize those games that we won November, December, January, February they still count. Right? You do you do realize that, right? No, my point it still no, count, no, but no, the point no. I'm saying is is that he did not impact the team. As much as what the youth did, you, you, do. you pretty much okay. So you take much those games. Them too much credit. So take those games away that we won before the trade deadline. Guess where we at? We're out the NBA, my God. Like whatever personal hate you got for LeBron, that's you, okay. But to say that, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, man. This is this is why some Laker fans are just so delusional. I mean, I'm just I'm just calling it um. You, you, sound, Bro, you, you just said that he, LeBron James is the problem, not the problem, but AD is. But he was he was the one who'd be scoring up fifteen bricks, thirteen so bricks, five so turnovers. Who's, who's the bigger problem to you? Oh, LeBron, LeBron. Yeah, so he you're is. You're delusional. You're delusional for a guy hey, supporting, supporting a guy mm-hmm. Anthony mm-hmm. Davis who can't stay healthy. I mean, this is the. Oh, this I'm not the, supporting Anthony Davis. I'm not the, supporting him. No, I'm saying this, that he's a bigger problem because. If you allow a 38 year old to be still be a facilitator and now you play off the ball and his coach is not going to tell him nothing because he's the boss of him, then yeah, he is a very big problem. Oh, yeah, and also plus the Lakers doesn't even practice as much. All they do is do shoot threes and do shoot arounds. You do realize <laughs> what that's type pretty of much stuff the, is that? You do realize that's pretty much the NBA nowadays, right? You do understand. Right? No, it's not. No, it's not. The Kings is the Kings is, is a top. A top over us just because they practice. Um, there's top not a lot of, teams practice. All of um, them practice. Sir, go do your research. There's not a lot of practice in the NBA anymore. I mean, you hear players talk about it all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Bro, all I'm going to say is just take whatever personal beef you got with LeBron, take it out. Anthony Davis is the Laker problem. He's been the problem ever since outside of the championship um, because – he can't stay healthy. He's not durable. He don't have a heart. He don't have a motor. He's better than Giannis Antetokounmpo. But guess what? Oh that, no, no, no! He's not better than Giannis. Yes, he, he is. He's not better than Giannis. He, no, he he's not. better than Giannis. No, he he's not, bro. No, he's not. <laughs> he, <laughs> no, he's not. bro. Listen, he's a better shooter than Giannis. He got a better handle than Giannis. Just as good defender as Giannis. But you know what made Giannis better? He got heart. He got heart. He's not Lakers, being honest, bro. Lakers all day. What you got to say, man? You want to chime in? Yeah, let me chime in right quick, man. Um, I, I mean, LeBron been telling us for a longest that AD need to take over, but AD's not taking over. Preach. You know what I'm saying? And this is what the, he – Freddie's right, bro. Like, Fred's right. He's like, AD don't have that heart. You know what I'm saying? 
And I've got, I feel like LeBron been trying to tell AD to take over, but he don't want to do it for some reason. And I feel like LeBron's getting tired of kind of like playing with him a little bit or playing with the coach or playing with his team, really. Because like if you look at his body language tonight, it wasn't LeBron, you know what I'm saying? Like it was somebody else. So we don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? He might just get up and leave like he did Cleveland and Miami. You never know, but it's all Just about. Like you always do. I'm, I'm ready for to be honest. I'm ready for that rebuild, man. I no no no. Listen, I'm man. That, I'm just happy. I'm I'm happy until they rebuild, man. Because it has been it has been absolute. Hey, Fred. Shit let me ask you a question, but what what you think about this coach, man? I know I know you don't like this coach. I'm the same way. I've been saying it for a minute, but what yeah. you why man. don't you like him, man? I'm I look at him. I'm like, what's the difference between him and Frank Vogel, like? I really don't know what the difference is. I mean, he was both bad at rotations. It's like tonight. There's no way on God's green earth, LeBron James and Anthony Davis is on the bench together. There's no way good. There's no way good guy. I mean, and then the other night against the Clipper game, you see Gable get an eight up, get an eight up in the post, and you don't even try to bring in Mo Bamba to um, bring up more size to help protect the interior. I mean, it's stuff like that. He, you know, and he don't. If you, you, you guys remember in the second, in the third quarter of the Clipper game, LeBron yeah. started knocking down them threes. What did Tyron Lou do? He called time yep. out. And stopped out. the momentum. Stopped the bleeding. Yep. Darvin Ham don't do that. He let us get down about 10 points, 10, 15 points, then all time out. Like, yeah, yeah. you as a coach, it's your job to try to help stop the bleeding. Um, you can tell the Darvin Ham don't, he can't motivate these guys. He, these guys, you can tell when they come out the first half, they come out slow. Um, they don't, they don't, they, he don't inspire them. And just to let you know, LeBron not going nowhere, especially if Bronny go to USC, which just reported today. If he goes there, LeBron ain't leaving LA. So um, our best bet this summer is to me, is to try to take calls for Anthony Davis. Let's see if we can get four or five. First round draft picks for a guy. This guy. Let's right, see right. if we can get in a trade, in a trade for this guy to re- retool his roster. Um, and I think with the young talent that we have, and we have some couple, we bring in some first round draft picks, and we can build something, you know, around this team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just... Hey, Trent, let me ask, let me ask you a question. Go ahead, Dwight. Go ahead, Dwight. Hey, who would, who would you like to see the Lakers bring in as a big man if we got rid of Anthony Davis? Um, man, if we had to bring up. See, I'm all man. The NBA is really about wings and guards right now. Yeah. Um, I don't really think we should have an elite big man. I just think we should have a solid big man, somebody that can uh-huh. protect the protect the right. Person. Somebody that can protect the rim. Right, right, right. Um, like I liked it when we had um. JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard, that type of rotation, because we need to what we're gonna get at them every night. I think our big thing is, you know, we need to if we can get somebody like man. I I know this is far fetched. I mean, I know he's not coming, but let's say if we can get a Dame Lillard, somebody like that, somebody that can help us on the point guard um position. Yeah. I know we got D'Angelo, but if we can get somebody like Dame Lillard that's gonna give us twenty eight to thirty a night. Um, but put up side LeBron, we still got Vanderbilt, we still got Beasley, we still got Caruso. Um, and we got our big band, and I think we'll definitely be where we where we at. But I think um that's the big thing, you know. I think I don't say we need to have a dominant center. We just need a respectful center, in my opinion. We were what about if we get Dame for A D a couple picks and get Damon um number twenty seven on the Blazers. Nikola, not much of it. Hey, you know? as long as they're giving us some draft picks, yeah, I, I love, I love the deal. Yeah, and I feel like you know, I heard rumors that Jalen Brown wants out of Boston in the summer, so you know, very, I, 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 hey, hey, I like that man. I mean, know, we even might New have York to has move. talent too. You know, hey, Julius Randle for AD, maybe some picks, maybe some yeah. guards. You know, Quickly's talented too, so you know, and even Chicago has some big men. You know, hey, so, hey, so hey, big hey, question. I know everybody on the panel said they're ready for a rebuild. 
Let's I see that. Well, Go ahead. I'm just saying, let's say we put up a proposal trade. LeBron and Anthony Davis. And I'm I'm totally against trading LeBron. I really yeah. am. But yeah. no, they have to trade that motherfucker. Go ahead, man. But let's say we trade LeBron in AD. Yeah. Uh-huh. To Dallas. Yeah. But Luca and Kyrie, because you're gonna need Kyrie to make the money, right? Yeah. With these young pieces that we have now. We have defense. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, we 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 bring in that Kyrie and Luca situation to LA? Yeah. Look, but, like, <laughs> oh, look who can't play with Kyrie. Yeah, I, I would do that. I would do that trade. Can can we like just bring one of them though? Because I that that right there is, is a mess, bro. Like them oh, two together. How about Luca for AD? Hey, the reason why I, hey, I'm gonna tell y'all, Dallas <laughs> next year is gonna be a complete different team. Yeah, um, they're gonna put defense around them. Yeah, uh, hey, look, look, is uncomfortable though, man. No, I, I think... agree. You gotta, you gotta, you have to bring a, a no BS coach in, like I mean, Yudoka. You gotta bring somebody <laughs> in that's not going to say, "Hey, this is how we're going to go." Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't your way. I think, yeah. I think Luca is going to def- uh, improve his defense next yeah. season. Yeah, yeah, I, I think Luca is going to be a big, big wake up. I think up. Dallas. They just, I don't know. They just didn't. They should never have traded for Kyrie because they were what in, they were in what's it called? I think seventh at the time when they made that trade, somewhere around that frame. Well, yeah. well, that's that problem, crazy. Well, that problem was they. I don't think Dallas really had attention on making the playoffs when they made that trade. Yeah. I really believe that they said, okay, we're gonna make this trade, and then we're gonna build on it during the summertime. Because I mean, we can tell that they still had a chance to make the play in. They tanked, um, yeah. Um, they because they let go of two of their best defenders, you know. Um, and I think, you know, I think, like I said, I think this could be a very big offseason for them. If, and if they don't get it done next year, I can see Luca requesting a trade. Hey, Fred, what you what you think about Mark Cuban talking about? Um, it was all on Jalen Brunson's dad. He was the problem because that's what he said. He said hey. it was the dad that that made him that made. Jalen Lee. Hey, that's what Mark Cuban said. Man, look at all the players that came through Dallas. Christoph Brzezinski, Brunson, mm-hmm. Kyrie, all these guys. For some reason, it don't work. Eventually, if it, if it quack like a duck, duck, if it look like a duck, then it's a duck. I think Luka, it's on Mark Cuban. No, nah, yep. hey, it's on Luca, Bro, Luca's style of play would, does not work. We've seen this with James Harden. Yeah. Houston. Just dribble, 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 dribble. Oh, the shot clock out. Let me take a bad shot or let me pass it to a teammate. It don't work. Um, Lucas going to change his style of play. I, I know. I know. That's yeah. why Daly didn't want have to, to bro. Cause... Yeah. And, and after, I, you're right about that, bro. And that's why maybe that's why Mark Cuban and, you know what I'm saying, maybe that maybe that's why they got Kyrie because, you know what I'm saying, like, like saying having Luca by himself, he was doing good, but he didn't have no help, and that's why he put he wanted Kyrie so he can have help. But you can't have two point guards on the same team. That one is James Harden, one is a playmaker, and he can do anything he wants on the court. And you know, what I'm saying one player over here get mad, low key. You know, what I'm saying like he don't want to play no more, and it's kind of kind of weird. You know, what I'm saying like, hey Sean, this is for you. LeBron, I was just telling AD, I was like, man, we can, can't believe we're going. Yeah, so basically they're happy about finishing the season above 500. Wait, who, LeBron is happy? Yeah. About finishing the season about five. You know what? Like, <laughs> well, I'm going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, man, like, hey, I, why, I said well, what I said. Yeah, why, I, said why can't I understand we went through a 2 and 10, but it's like your goal has to be. I'm cool. Okay, let's go win the championship. I'm happy about being over 500. Fuck that. I want to win. Wait, hold up. Hey, so the end, I'm just going to say the energy would have been different if the youth did not turn that around while he was injured. That's all yeah. I got to say. And, Sean, yeah. all I got to say is if they started 2-10 <laughs> and 10 and if he didn't play those many minutes to help go on a run, when we got those youth, it wouldn't even matter. Um, and, two, let me – Yeah, gonna, yeah, it would, it would have been matter. It would have mattered. He, um, went, wanna... he didn't even need to score. He didn't even need to score over thirty points. He had to score at least twenty. And then <laughs> while they, it should have been more balanced. 
The team would have been blown down uh, that way, but he who, 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 would have, who would have scored the rest of the points? <laughs> we need like I can't if this we can't like again. Did you not see Russell Westbrook? Russ? But that's huh? the thing about Come on, Westbrook. Man. Now. Nah, be for real, man. Be for real. Now Westbrook I played played only plays great all of a sudden when he's with the Clippers, but not with us. Hey, Come big on. baby, I'm gonna tell you, don't don't Yeah, he played better with the Clippers because Listen. one man took over more than Listen, Russ is still the same Russ. If you still the same Russ. Russ. If you watch him the other day, he had you know he had a couple of shots, but he still turned the ball over. He still shot the ball bad. In the second half, Ty Lu sat him. You see what Ty Lu took him out the damn game the second half. Yeah. <laughs> so let's not fall for the hype, bro. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch the, they're gonna Her, lose tomorrow. LeBron just tur- turned over five times this game. Yeah, Why we him. always be joking around turnovers when this man, well, the man that you, that's, that's that you just thing. defending okay. is the king of turnovers. LeBron doesn't make five, no LeBron has sense. five turnovers tonight, right? And sometimes I know it's 20th season, but he doesn't get back on defense. And he leaves his man wide open. <laughs> defense line. is non existent, like, LeBron. Yeah. You talking about coach, how you want to motivate as, someone. As, as a coach, you. as a coach, man, if I was a coach of Lakers, and if, I don't care if LeBron's in this. 26 season, you need to play defense. I don't, I don't care if you've been in this league 30 years. You're going to be playing dudes. You're going to. I just sometimes Darwin Hand needs to get on, get on LeBron's ass. Get you know, no, not put your hands big, in your pocket. Big baby, like, I want to ask you. I want to ask you a quick on, question, man. man. God, I get so frustrated watching this team. Big baby, I want to ask you this one question. If your boss is is asking you to play baseball with him, yeah, and then he miss the third or miss every home run, every hit run. Are you going to tell him to fix that motherfucker? Or shit, you should have never missed that shit. Tell him to or fix it you... to get better. Oh, no, no. Are you really going to tell him how you actually feel after you miss all those shots? <laughs> or you just say, like, don't worry, boss. It, you know, I'll handle it. No, I'm going to tell my boss that you get better, learn from it, improve. But Oh, my <laughs> gosh, man. And that's my <laughs> point, man. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's my point. Yeah. You see what he's... I want to, I want to, I want to comment on that that quote from LeBron. Let me read, let me put it up. There's a reason why I don't think LeBron was healthy to come back when he came back. I really don't believe so, but I think he 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 mm-hmm. he, 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 he he tasted blood. He felt blood. He knows that this West is so weak. He knows that there's a chance. There's still a chance. Um, I, I'm telling you, if the Lakers match up with Denver, that will be an interesting series. You're gonna lose um, if you play them. I disagree because you know what, Denver don't play defense. Me, me, and, Jonathan, play defense. Hey, me, me and Jonathan Mathis be going off on our Lakers. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> they don't they don't play defense. Um, and I I just I just and we do. Um, so I'm play? just I'm gonna be surprised. Like you know, I would say this is still hey LeBron. You're gonna see a whole different LeBron when playoffs start. We hey, Fred. Oh, I see a whole different LeBron, all right. Hey, hey Fred. Hey, Fred. A whole different level of excuses. <laughs> You're 20, hey. man. One day, hey, I'm the greatest I'm the greatest player of all time. While when we lose, oh, I, uh, it's the coach's fault. It's AD's fault. It's Austin Reed's fault. It's uh, <laughs> this guy's fault. It's John, Smith's you, fault. You, you're, very, you're taking this very personal, my guy. <laughs> Like I said, hey, I, yeah, I take this thing personal. I understand. I take this thing hell personal. Hey, who's yeah, your I take it. Sean, who's your favorite huh? player? Who's your favorite player? Uh, your favorite player, sir. Kobe. Okay. <laughs> even hey, even Kobe said it's okay. Le- it's okay. LeBron's part of us now. Okay, let go, bro. Let go. I know it takes time. I know it's hard. Yeah, yes. but let go. What up, be easy, that dude? What's going yeah, on, I'll man? I'll let go, just like the way how LeBron yeah, let good. go that ball towards that scoring record. <laughs> I'll let that go. I'll let the cannon go. Hey, 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 Sean, just like Magic said, I'm just glad he did it as a Laker. He's a Laker. He's a Laker, man. That's not oh, you know yeah, what that's yeah. all hey, about. We're Magic at. Real Magic quick, everybody. ain't a Laker anymore. He's not going to get a statue at the Lakers or get his jersey retired. Oh. LeBron. No, no, nah, nah, he won't get a statue. No, he's not. <laughs> now, hey, if they win, hey, if they win a championship this year, they might get one. Go watch the latest video. Man, Byron Scott man. had a good point. Go watch. Byron Scott was listen, talking about that on the show listen, yesterday. He won't get a statue, but if he wins another championship, don't be surprised. That jersey might get retired. Don't be mm-hmm. surprised. 
<laughs> man, you see how the way we play? We no. ain't winning no championship this season. <laughs> no, we're not, we all think we're going to change the play, but... Now, can I ask you a question? Come on, can man. Ask, can I ask you a question? Go ahead, Shirley. Hey, let's not sit up here and act like we've never seen anything crazy in the NBA before. I'm just saying. Yeah, you so right. Are we talking I mean, about what's probable and more likely more than <laughs> some yeah. like miraculous thing happening? No, I agree. And let, so let me ask you a question. Out, out of this last month or two in the West, who has played better than us outside of the Phoenix Suns? Nobody. <laughs> like, come on, y'all, bro. Like, don't let you know, the, the game. Don't, don't let the Clipper game take y'all emotions, bro. Like, uh, the NBA got to NBA got to do a whole better, a lot, a better job than themselves. I mean, it's 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 embarrassing that the Clippers had four days off. Four days off, yeah. and the Lakers had to play a back to back. Like I'm like, what the? We should, like, we should have been we should have been ready to play that game. I know it's a back to back, but that for me, it was one of those back to backs has then always been happening. Yeah, before yeah, yeah but for years gonna, now, bro. yeah, but if you're gonna do a back to back, bro, like at least let the Clipper game be the front game. Like that's the marquee game. How are you gonna give the Clippers four days off to rest and to get ready? And we. But, <laughs> But to be fair, though, even this game was only that much more impactful because the Lakers had already previously lost 10 straight to yeah. the Clippers. If they yeah. hadn't lost 10 straight, then people would be like, uh, it was a loss. Now it's 11 straight, yeah. and you played all of your starters. Yeah. And, and they didn't amazing. even have Paul George out there. So it looks – and they was making everyone look way better than they are. Norman Powell looked like an all-star out there. <laughs> Terrence Mann lighting them up. Uh, and LeBron, bro, the defense, I, it, it's super cringy. First of all, when they're winning the game, they just start giving up concession basket after concession basket. <laughs> it, it, it's goofy. They'll dribble the ball until the time come out, but the other teams keep trying to score. And LeBron, his his defense, I know he will be uh, – because once it's the playoffs, it's a new season. But the Lakers have, as as cringy as it looks at time, they have been uh, top five in defense since the All-Star break. So I will give them credit with that. But they give up way too many open shots. LeBron is just looking at people, daring him to take it. And uh, he would he let Tory Craig take like yeah. three wide open sh- shots in his face. Sorry. A, bi- a big, e- a big easy. The, um, yep. What what yep. Fred said, what Fred said about our coach, man, he's right. He's like, he said that this coach is not motivating. Like he said, that this coach don't motivate the players and and low key. Let me ask you this: Do you think he motivates the players more than Frank Vogel? Because that's who we have to compare him to. Is hey, he big more, easy. So is he an upgrade? Hey, Big Easy. I like I said when I watch the games, I I, I, I question myself. What's the difference? What's There's the no difference? difference. I ain't gonna lie. I, I I I have questioned that. I was like, is this vocal coaching or what? Like, what's the difference, bro? Like, man, this dude like rotations questionable. I mean, I was watching the OKC OKC game them day. I was like, man, I wish we had a coach that had fire in him like that. Like, like he had fire. In him. I so I wish we had a coach like. How do you think Mark Jackson would be on this team if he was coach right now? Mark Jackson. That man would have been. I would love to see Mark table. Jackson. That man that. would have told. That man would have told. I don't think their defense. Goal. I don't think yeah. the defense would be as good, but I think Mark Jackson would do a better job at holding people like AD and LeBron accountable. Thank you. Yeah. I think yeah. would light a bit more fire. <laughs> I think. But that's I think what we if, need you, though. You know who hold the this team accountable? accountable. If we, you know, I think would be good. Uh, Me, my personal opinion. What about Eric Spoelstra? You, how do you think he would do? I actually like Coach Spo. I, yeah. I would have to give Spo a nod over mm-hmm. <laughs> Vogel and I, I'm uh, get, Darvin Ham. Yeah, I, I, I like Spo. Right, I like Spo, but yeah, I like Spo. But but the Shit. reason I don't like Spo is because Spo, Spo be going out small ball, and he went. He's still going small right now. Isn't that Miami what Heat. Ham is doing right now? He's I always running that. wing and game room and Vanderbilt no, 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 no. center. I understand that, but look, but look, but look. I got you, like if girl. we get Spo, if we get Spo, right? Let's say we had Spo, he would have he would have went small, and us having AD that would have been fine. You know what I'm saying? But the Heat is doing Bam, bro. Bam is not even the center. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, listen, well, like, I got a question. Uh, uh, after your question, Laker girl wants to say something. Go ahead, Laker girl, real quick. Yeah. Go ahead. I just want to say, 
Freddie, I, I agree. I just want to say, Freddie, I agree with you. Yeah, me too. TC Laker girl, you'll see. You know what? That's why we, they call you Laker girl, because you know about the Lakers. But listen, I want to ask y'all a question. What's up? I think it's time. I really do think <laughs> that it's time for us to find a new owner. An owner that is invested into the Lakers. <laughs> Hey, hey, I, now, I, hey, now you, I, hey, now you, hey, now you preaching now, you preaching now, you preaching. Hey, big, big baby. That's easier like that said than though. done because it's not just, <laughs> the bus is on the ownership face, but it's actually owned by a group, like an entire conglomerate. Right, yeah. right, right. Can I show they not, but, but but you know what? I rather the I rather her let the brothers run it though. You know. No, no, hold up. Nah, think, wait, nah, wait, her wait, brother wait, wait. was running it into the ground. No, I think we can't do that. No, nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the two. I'm talking about the two younger brothers. You're talking about Joey. You're talking about the younger Joey. ones. Okay. Yes, yes, about, yes. Uh, yeah. Her nah, older brother. Her older want, brother was no, a snake. I don't want no brother. I don't, I'm tired of that. Can I, can I ask you like, what's the difference? Like, outside of the championship, what has Jeannie done that Jim Buss didn't do? I mean, those are two those those are two different things. I mean, Jeannie is now a basketball survive. and you know? she, she's not. She can't. It seems like she can't take control of her franchise. Like we have Linda Rambis, Kirk Rambis, Phil Jackson. I mean, hell, might as well even bring back um Lamar Odom. Let him run something in the front office. I mean, like. Rob Palinka should have been gone. Rob Palinka should have been gone last year. That uh, man should have been gone two years ago. Man, Rob well, Palinka didn't do anything this time, man. What about? What, no, what I, mean? don't, I don't think Rob Palinka. Rob, yeah. if anything, you should put, place more uh, blame on Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson was the one who was pushing for here. Trade uh, Zubac here. Don't pay this player. Don't do this. That was more Magic Johnson well, than anyone. Well, Magic Rob said Palenka, there's too many. Uh, I'm just saying you got to give Rob Palenka credit, bro, to turn nah. Westbrook into the roster. That okay, you That's say the only don't. Thing I give him credit. That's the only thing. Okay, <laughs> so what what GM would have stepped in and and uh, done a better job out of the GMs that was available? A GM that has experience. I don't know who's available, but not an agent. Like, bro, like there's reports that nobody like. Bro, like, they, like, people still hold him as an agent, like, as a butthole. Um, the only reason why he got that job was... So that hard. sound like it ain't about Rob. It's about them being in a feeling. So you no, can't blame no, no, Rob because no, no. somebody else is emotional. No, but it's a business, bro. You got to do... Mm -hmm. You got to find people that is willing to get deals done. Yes, the only deal that I get mad about Magic was, how did you let Zubak go for two pennies? <laughs> Like how do you how do you let that for Mike, Yeah, you let him go for a Capri Sun and a pack of tacos. <laughs> hey, uh, Sean, how would you feel if Rich Paul became the GM? Sean, yeah, boy. hey man, hey man, more excuses, man. That's all I got to say. They <laughs> gonna give hey, hey, more excuses, one, man. I can't wait to play off, man. Play that's, a one, that's a good one, Sean. Hey, Big man, you guys, what's up, man? Sean would have a heart attack on your show if that happened. <laughs> Yeah, but hey, but low key, hey yo, hey yo, Fred, you know it's like, you know what I'm saying, low key. I feel, I feel you on that Rob Palinka situation, because like, because like, it feels like Rob got the got the job, you know, out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? It feels yeah, like he, he got, got the job control. because of cold. You know what I'm saying? And and yeah. and 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 that's why, and that's why some people are kind of mad about that, because it's like. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like you know if you know what I'm saying it's it's, it's like they work they hard. You know what I'm saying they work all this all this all their life to get you yeah. know to be like a GM of a basketball team, and this dude come out of nowhere and get the job automatically. You know what I'm saying? Like now, I will say this: if Magic was in office, we would have won back to back championships. Well, he would have um, changed. Yeah, because I'm gonna tell you, Magic was going to. We messed up by flipping that championship roster. Yeah, um, Magic wasn't going to do that. Magic wouldn't have got Russell Westbrook. Um, Magic would have got somebody great. Robert Magic Lincoln did not show Rob. Uh, did not show I don't know. I, I think Rob is getting too. All of these things got to get passed and co-signed by LeBron. LeBron was pushing for them to get Westbrook. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And that is the yeah. thing that why that we cannot get no new GM or a new coach. It's because it only we have to go pass by the Golden Boy. I wish Angry Lakers was here. Check this out. 
your player can come to you and say, hey, do this, do this. But at the end of the day, you have the you have the final say so. Do they though? Because what happened with Golden State Durant? What happened with James Harden in the Nets? What happened with this year with the Nets and Kyrie? They oh. all did what the player wanted them no, to. Trade no, them out. Oh yeah, they don't didn't. forget about no. the Buddy Hill and uh, uh, Demar De- uh, no. No, hey, Demar 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 trade too. Big easy. We was about to get those guys too, but Big easy. someone we, actually stopped it. We seen <clears> Brooklyn. <throat> we seen the Brooklyn owner. Man up and say, you know what, Kyrie, we're not sending you where you want to go. We're but they sent Kevin Durant to where he wanted to go, though. Well, yeah, that was more about an isolated hate towards Kyrie Irving, though. He bowed down to Kevin Durant and all these other, well, even with uh, even with AD, right? AD who said, I want to go to the Lakers, and he got traded to what team? Lakers. Um, even, even started with Carmelo Anthony when he oh, was yeah. with the Nuggets, and he said, hey, I want to go to the Knicks, and what team did they trade him to? The Knicks. Hey, big baby, I gotta hop off, but I want to say one thing to Sean. Sean, you're a good <laughs> dude, my brother. You really, <laughs> I have much love to you. But yeah. this personal hate you got for Bron, <laughs> I understand. I'm gonna tell you a story. Before Bron got to LA, hey, it was cold. I couldn't stand it. You, hey, you, you know, it was a rule. If you a Kobe fan, you don't fool with Bron. You know, hey, that just that's a point blank. But when he came to LA and Kobe took us to embrace him, and the way he embraced us, you know, the Laker fans when. The situation happened with Kobe. That kind of, you know, I said, okay, Brian, we're here for you. Just embrace him a little bit. That's all. Don't, because the. Well, I tried. I, I, I tried <laughs> to embrace him, Freddie. But you know what I mean? Just in this season and the last season, the way that he played selfishly, I was just like him in the Olympics. I tell I, I tell the coach, Sam, like what he actually said about Kobe. Don't fix that motherfucker. And that's why I'm on my, oh, that type of mode right now. Hey, I will say mode. this. I will yeah. say this. Sometimes I wish Brian get more than move because, man, especially before the season and last year, the way the roster was shaped, like, I'm going to say this real funny. The Lakers are doing the same thing to LeBron that they did to Kobe towards the end of his career by not putting <laughs> – We did. Hey. <laughs> We did, Kobe we did Kobe horrible, bro. We put Yo, him... this is crazy. No, nah, he's I, right, I, bro. He's I, right. He's not crazy. lying. He's not. He's not. So he's. He said, I, I feel him on that. Nah, I, I, I would have to. I would nah, have to man. Come I would have on, to man. With that, bro. Nah. I can is... see a habitual line step if I see one. Well, I actually heard that. Yo. Did y'all see the teams that Kobe ended up playing with? <laughs> But horrible, I, I, I don't think y'all remember the players that was on <laughs> was on the roster, bro. He had an over the hill Steve Nash who was injured the whole time with his shoulder. Yes. Uh, uh, Dwight Howard yeah. had a torn labrum, and then he Dwight, bounced. Dwight his, came back, bro. They yeah. had Robert Sacre. I oh, think yeah. I'm gonna just mute up after that. Like, <laughs> so the Lakers are doing the same thing. Like, yes, we got AD, but he can't stay healthy. Yeah, yeah. Right. D'Angelo roster. Russell can't stay healthy. This roster that we got right now is the best roster we've had since the championship. D'Lo hurt all the time, too. Man, it was the same this, thing. This whole D-Lo's team hurt every day. D'Lo yeah, been with injuries since we drafted him. If y'all don't remember, he had knee problems when we drafted him. Ain't yeah, no bro. Too. I'm asking this. What if LeBron, I mean, what if Kobe had AD on his team? How do you think that would turn out? AD would still be hurt. Exactly. <laughs> uh, AD. I'm doing oh, it. Bro, hold on, hold on. I'm going to just run some names yeah. off, bro. He had Tariq Black, Brandon Bass, Roy Hibbert, Ryan Kelly. Once again, Robert Sacre, <laughs> an old uh, Metal World piece. He had Swaggy P, Lou Williams. This is who. And then he had Jordan Clarkson before he had good. This is who yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> Kobe Bryant was playing with. Kobe and he had Larry Nash Jr. when he was a rookie. So yeah. This is the team that he had that he was dragging to the playoffs. Well, no, we didn't even go to the playoffs. Then I don't think. We, hey. no, 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 that 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 year they didn't. But I'm saying yeah. Uh, yeah. the year with Dwight Howard, they did. He just uh, tore his Achilles, yeah. so he didn't get to play uh, any series. So at the end of the day, we can all agree management has been a problem, but it's still a problem because. Hey, but this was Mitch Kupchak, though. This wasn't Palinka, though. This was Mitch Kupchak with that horrible roster. And also, Mitch Kupchak is in Charlotte. What have yeah. the Hornets done since they got Mitch Kupchak? The Mellow Ball is going to be out of Charlotte soon because Michael Jordan's selling it. 
ownership over there. Oh yeah, he's trying to sell the team, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he did sell the team. Oh, he did already. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yo, Fred, let me ask you a question before you leave, man. What you what what you think about Max Christie, man? I hated that. You know, I love the fact that he was playing. Uh, I just really wish after the trade deadline we was able to find some minutes for him because I believe that he was he was getting confident and he was finding his shot. Yeah. Um, which, which player are you referring to right now? Max, Max Christie. Christie. Max Christie. Oh yeah, Max Christie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what about the J Huff? Some people was mad about that because he's actually been doing good yeah. with the uh, with the Wizards. Uh, Wizards. He's been balling lately. Yeah, but hey, oh, yo, yeah. yo, yo, big easy. But like you know, what I'm saying like that. That's kind of weird. How. You know what I'm saying? Like, Max Christie, right? He been balling, like Freddie said, and he been, you know, giving confidence, right? But then after that, you don't play him a couple games. You know what I'm saying? You don't play him, like, saying, like, saying, like the half of the, you know, the, like, saying, like, the end of the season. Well, it's like, kind of hard. Why you, when you hear Troy Brown, you know, coming alive, knocking down the shots that he's been knocking down, uh, Rui has been big for us. Uh, Vanderbilt is a defensive stopper. I mean, it's kind of really hard to get Christy some time. Um, yeah, that's true. And I would actually prefer to give that time to Lonnie Walker over yeah. Max Christie. Yeah. I think Max Christie has more defensive potential mm-hmm. than Walker, but I think Walker is an overall uh, better uh, impactful player. But mm-hmm. they've been riding him on the bench. He got some time last night, but I think if he would have played more against the Clippers, yeah, you know, it could have been a different outcome. But this is where a, I kind of question, yeah, yeah he be having some shaky lineups, bro. That's what yeah. I'm telling y'all. Yeah. Like, I told y'all, boy. Yeah. Hey, they, 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 you in LA? gonna mess us up. Uh, no, nah, I'm in the Bay Area. I'm in Oakland right now. Who stays in Shout LA? To the Bay. Panel. Who stays in LA this, on this panel right now? I'm, 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 I'm from I'm LA. In I'm, I'm only an hour, hour Sean, out of LA. Sean, I want to. I'm gonna give you a mission, bro. And you gonna do this for Laker Nation? I want you to go to Crypto Sunday. Go to him and pop that pimple. Maybe that knock his basketball <laughs> sense. Do that for us. Oh, who I need to uh, knock, knock some sense to? Darvin Ham, please, bro. This dude. This Darvin man Ham? Go, man, go. I, I can't hurt Darvin Ham, man. He's an no, employee, don't man. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Pop that pimple. No, I mean, I feel for Darvin Ham, man. As a working class citizen, man. You know, man, working to, to get out to nine to five as a boss man, like Sean. I feel sorry, more, man. Man, I feel so sorry for him, man. Hey, Sean, Pressure. this coach is trash, I he, man. I know he talks a lot in the mirror, man, talking shit to his boss, but you know he can't talk shit in front of him, man. It's hard. <laughs> I, I feel, Sean, I feel trash, his frustration. Bro, I tell y'all, <laughs> yeah, oh, he's trash. Yeah, all right, y'all, y'all have a good night. You too, man. Sorry, man. But yeah, man, Max. Yeah, it was a good stream, man. It's been on for one hour. It's fine. Who was a good Friday night? Even though Lakers, you know, when you know, man, I was. It was a good stream, man. That was the funniest shit I ever heard. (laughs) When you said that the that this team featuring LeBron, like like Kobe, I'd be like, what? (laughs) I'd be sure. I heard a lot of things, man, but. Man, I wish that, is a, that, is, that, was, that takes the cake. I know you have work oh, running, but you should have been on the stream angry. tonight, man. If you're, I know you're going to watch this, but you should have been on the stream angry. You missed out. <laughs> man, I will be laughing out the way I'll be roasting LeBron James and, <laughs> and also this squad. But, you know what I mean? Hey, it's a win, you know? It's a win, but yeah. come on, man. Against the bench, bro. Like, yeah. seriously, you guys struggle hey, yo, we against still the be, bench. Hey, yo, we still need my boy Kyrie, though. Or Dame. I'm going to say Dame or Kyrie. That's all we need. We're going to get. Man. We're, we're, man. We'll see. We'll right, see. The, Maverick, the Maverick said they want him back. Yeah. yeah but that's if, the, but, but yeah. that's if you want to Yeah, play but the Maverick him, said they want him back because they lost so, they lost so much to get Kyrie. So they got to have a, something back for him. I'm going to make a prediction. Know? I mean, to be honest, he's been their best player yeah. down the stretch. I don't know if y'all been seeing Luka. He's been playing garbage lately. Yeah. Kyrie hey, Irving hey, has been their best player. Luka, yes, bro. I bro, mean, Luka has been out of shape, man. You, we, we already know that he has been out of shape. He doesn't really do defense. Yeah. I'm happy they, he, they actually miss out the playoffs. I think wow. he got so comfortable with all those playoff success to the point where he doesn't think he needs to change his game. 
I did they miss out or did they with. give up? Because they no. lost by three tonight to the uh, to the Bulls, Bulls which yep. was an easily winnable game. No Kyrie and uh, Luca only paid thirteen minutes, and yeah. the coach benched them. So it's like yeah. they didn't even want to try. To, and their pick, they don't even have their pick. They got to give it to the Knicks because of the Porzingis trade. So Damn. so the so the man, it won't be surprised if Kyrie leaves. Man, I'm gonna predict what team is gonna go to. He's gonna go to the Suns and. Try to go win a championship with them. He ain't going to do what no KD did, man. You never know. He's going to the sun? Well, actually, that there. actually is a very, that's a very strategic nah. trade. For I think that would be a good move for him, but I don't know if that would Chris he Paul might, and all that. He might, I don't think Chris Paul would, go would be good for, for Dallas. Chris I mean, Paul, yeah. him, and K, him, and, him and KD's not talking right now, are they? Yeah. Man, I don't talking. know what KD's doing, man. You, you never know, you man. Know what I, K- I made Kevin Durant block me on Instagram, man. I got under his head. Like, I was just going back and forth. Hey, man, y'all him. never know, bro. LeBron LeBron might still, I mean, hey, if y'all LeBron, know how. If LeBron wants to leave, man. I mean, y'all know how to, like, LeBron. Hey, man, if LeBron wants to leave, sign. No, he, he might want to leave, though. Fuck out of my team. <laughs> hey, goodness. Yeah. Please, I'm, get, I'm getting to the point, like, tonight I saw, like I said earlier in the show when the first started, like, LeBron doesn't get back on defense. You know, and people want to say he had a good game tonight. 16 points, 6 Big rebounds. Big baby, you asking him too five. much, man. Defense, man. I told you. Five, there's no five D turnovers. in LeBron. You know, it's like, that's, that's, you got to shape well, up. Ain't no D in LeBron. Hey, Big if, LeBron if LeBron 80 don't show up in the playing or playoffs, we will get him bounced in the first round. We will get hey, swept. Hey, yeah. hey, Big Baby, people, I mean, I, I know people saying that we need to get rid of AD, but, I mean, I, I would get rid of LeBron. Because if you get rid of Braun, right? He, yeah. He's he's older. You know what I'm saying? He don't. Really, he's not really that same player like he used to be. Like like everybody think he is. You know what I'm saying? And and you and you see that right now. I don't know, man. It's been a, it's almost eleven o'clock, but I don't you care. Can make that same weekend. argument about AD too. Yeah. It's, it's I, know, said that it's, I know. But... Please say that LeBron just gave treated like Kobe in the twenty season. I don't man. know, man. <laughs> but... <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. Hey, angry just, man, if you're watching this later t- tomorrow, man, you're going to be cracking up. Oh, man. Big baby, that can I give a good. big shout out to you for your interview? It was a dope interview. I, I watched yeah, it. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, dope, hey, that was some good, that was some good shit, big baby. I like that. <laughs> shout out, big baby, with the journalistic prowess. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hey, yo, big baby, nice you know who we need next, that. man? We need Phil Henley next, man. We need Phil yeah. next. Man, if Phil Henley goes 2-10, and ten, everybody's going to like, get rid of him, you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, wait. I'm saying I want Phil Henley to be, to you interview him on YouTube. Oh, big oh. baby, that would be dope. You have Phil Henley on? Yeah. That would be dope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get verified soon on Instagram. So once that gets. Hey, big baby. Just, just the way yeah, you have to pay that four nine nine. Yeah, it, hey, yeah. for what I do, man, it's worth it. You know what I mean? Yes. So, yeah, uh, I get it. You got the yeah. check on Twitter too, big yeah, baby. I got the check, yeah, I got the check on Twitter too. A lot How of how much is that one? Ten? Yeah, ten. Ten dollars? Big, big yeah. baby, bro. You a celebrity in LA. Remember that? Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, baby, big baby, when you get in your mural, when you get in your mural, big in baby, LA. You, hey, you, know, just, you know, when I'll get know, my mirror once you LeBron leaves. Once LeBron leaves, that's a good one. Big baby, what's you up? Trying to do an interview one day with Big Game James Worthy. Yeah, um, been trying. That'd be cool too. You know, if you get Worthy on, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I got another one in the works Any too. Any past Laker would be awesome. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say Laker. anyone, regardless of how good they were, because they all have some they insightful have information. Yeah. Yeah. What about Robert Ory? I, I interview Smush Parker right I now. Ask, I want to ask about it's a Laker man. nobody knows. Oh no. no. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I want to ask about a Laker nobody never talks about. Who? Where is AC Green at? AC Green. Uh, AC Green is an announcer. He he's an announcer for the G League. Salute to AC Green. Yeah. Okay. He's some hero. I'm about to ask. Right, him. right, right. That dude don't get enough credit, man. Cause you know. AC Green was AC Green was that guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, AC. Yeah, AC Green is announcer for the uh, for the G League. You know but, who else was good too? Eddie Jones, bro. Eddie Jones yeah. was good. Eddie Jones was that yeah. dude, man. Eddie Jones, Jones is good. Nice. 
I know I'm trying to get to you guys. I might... had to get him out of there because of Kobe. To I mean, Nick I'm trying to uh, get uh, the, the small forward used to play on the uh, Brooklyn Nets, Joe Johnson. Oh, Joe Johnson. You trying to get JoJo? Okay. Yeah. Go get JoJo. Okay. Just, just to piss Sean Joe off. Joe Johnson, that's a, that's an Ar- that's an Arkansas Wait. boy right there. Yeah, just to piss off Sean. Big baby, are you still? Are you? Are you still? Are you? Are you still going to be doing your interview interview with Lamar? Yeah, I'm still waiting. Oh shoot, that'd be dope, with Lamar, huh? Hey, just don't say nothing about that. Lamar over there, man. All you can hear is absolutely. Hey, yeah, don't don't trigger him to relapse, bro. <laughs> Make sure you keep it all like man. Keep it yeah, all I got you. But what I do before every show, I ask the panel, like before I record, I say, yeah. what are things you feel uncomfortable talking about? Let me know now. And then once they say it, cross it off the list. <laughs> yeah, because maybe I think maybe I think Angry's interview is with Fire and Sky next week, and Angry said when he does it, he he gonna let me come on. That's lit. Congrats. Go have fun with it. Yeah. I threw you guys at Elliot. Now go dunk it. You know? Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna I wanna get Dame on Dame follows me on Twitter too. Shoot, hey, baby. Dame hey. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him on. So or you see hey, you get hey, yo, hey, yo, you need to get Kyrie for you, man. If you get Kyrie, I'm coming on. Coming if on. I get Kyrie, uh, I'm, on. <laughs> I'm telling him just go to Lakers so that Lakers all day can be happy. Oh no, big oh baby, you know, you know who she should try to do an interview with? What's up? She used to try to do one with Malika Andrews so Lakers all day could be a little mad. <laughs> oh no, don't do that. Boy. <laughs> yeah, Why? don't do Malika Andrews. I, 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 oh, who's I'm, coming I'm, in now? I'm gonna be tight. I'm gonna be, like tight. I'm gonna be sad. Who's coming out here? The Lopi? I know, I've seen that on the stream or something. Who is that? I'd rather see Rachel Nichols than Mal- Malika Andrews. Man, who's that? My who's my next opponent, man? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Who's the next oh, person? Who one, one, is, one of these one of these streams in the playoffs. I'm gonna see Byron Scott come live with us. Hey, Rick, and chop it up with it. That'd be dope. Get Byron on a You know, I need to get. I want to. I need to get Dwight on again. Yeah. Like actually, like. You know. And, but, Phil, how how's the white man after um that uh season in China, man? I heard you went from uh sweet to sour. Oh. <laughs> wow. John, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna be able to come back on the panel no more. No, I, oh, that was like I'm just playing. Hey, uh, I'm just playing Dwight Howard, man. Listen, I'm just talking shit, man. Don't worry, I have no beef with you, man. I got. Uh, I have like, beef with your I got off, people man. that subscribe to me or close to Dwight, so you're good. Yeah, don't worry, man. I, I have no beef with you. I have beef with Ron, though, but, but Sean, I, have, right. I have no beef with you. Sean, you're not right, bro. Well, Sean, you're not right. Right. Sean, not right over here. It's all good, man. Hey, man. <laughs> chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. <laughs> you ain't right, bro. Hey, man. You said it, not me. <laughs> hey, man. I, hey, hey. I'm on one right now, man, because I, yeah, I, see I thought I saw those two games, man. Those last two games and the way he played, man, it's just like, bro, after all that effort. That's crazy. That one, hey, he's gonna, he's gonna uh, make it up to you, man. He's gonna he's gonna activate playoff playoff bro, man. Playoff hey, bro. That one hey, I, keep, I gotta do this, man. Have a good night. Yeah, good night. Man. All right, man. Good night, big baby. Much love, right. brother. All right. Hey, baby, baby. Hey, baby, baby. Hey, hit